Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to make a little rat rod out of this Hot Wheels 32 Ford Roadster. Not too much of a full-on build this one, just a fun one. This is a 2019 model with the gold flake paint. They also did a satin black one. It's got the same graphics on it. And these were first released in 1998. And I think in 2017 they changed the casting so that the scoop was on the body rather than on the motor. There's two rivets holding this together which I drill out and then I can take the car apart. Now I can use some poly stripper to remove the paint from the casting. Here it is paint stripped. Next I give it a clean up with a wire brush and my rotary tool removing any oxidation and remaining scraps of paint. Once it was cleaned up and ready for painting, I masked off the blower. I then gave it a base coat of this ready brown. This was followed by a lighter rust effect paint. And then a top, very light, speckly coat of another ready brown. Now I was quite happy with my base coat of rust, I mask off the boot. I'm going to use some water and some very finely ground salt to create a chipped paint effect. I then paint the boot red. This was followed by a very thin coat of thin down white paint to give it a faded appearance. Unfortunately, a small area of the rust texture pulled away with the mask and tape, but that's okay, I can patch that up. I now brush away the salt, exposing the rust underneath the red paint. Next the boot is masked off using a liquid mask.
Once I was happy with my salt application, I painted the rest of the car black. I also gave this the thin down coat of white as well to help make it look faded. I can now brush off the salt and remove the mask from the boot of the car. The blower is painted in a light steel. Here are some custom decals I've designed to go on the doors. These are printed on white decal paper, so I cut them out as best that I can. Now I apply one to each door. I'm not super happy with the way they're looking like that, so I'm going to add some black and grey paint around the outside of the red parts of the decals to help them blend in. Once I was happy with the way the car looked, it was given a coat of satin varnish. Moving on to the interior of the car. The first thing I'll do is remove the chrome off of it because that's quite hard to paint on. I get some hot water from the tap and add a small spoonful of caustic soda. I then dropped in the interior. This footage is in real time. I haven't sped this up. As you can see, the chrome is already virtually all gone. I mask off the seat and dash section. It was given a coat of white primer and then painted a dark red. Next I mask off the seat area and the rest of the car is painted in light steel. I finish it with a black wash over the engine and the grill. I'm going to put slightly larger wheels on it, so I'm going to raise the rear axle a little bit. I'm going to use this aluminium tubing for the new axle casing. I'm going to have to put the interior section in and drill a hole through. I can now glue the rear axle rod in place. Before I paint it, I remove the front wheels. I'm going to try not to cut all of this tab off so that I can put the new wheels in without any problem.
The base was just painted in gunmetal and then I gave it some highlights with some silver weathering powder and sealed it all with a satin varnish. And here are all of the parts of our car repainted and ready to go back together. I'm going to replace the old Hot Wheels wheels with these nice aftermarket ones. All I had to do now was pop the car back together. And before we take a look at the finished custom, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A cool little Hot Wheels 32 Ford Roadster. Looks pretty nice with the gold flake paint job. The graphics could be a bit better, but they're not terrible. But as you probably know, I like my rusty cars, so let's see what we can do with it. And here it is, our finished 32 Ford Rat Rod. Looking nice and ratted out now with its chipped black and red paint job and cool skull graphics on the sides. It's also got a great new looking set of wheels. I won't lie, it's perhaps sitting half a millimeter too low at the back. It does actually roll smoothly, but I could have really put that axle down a tiny bit lower. But that being said, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cool and I think it's a nice, easy, quick project that anybody could do. I'll now take my time to welcome all of my new subscribers and say a massive thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. An extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters. A big welcome to my newest supporters, Guy Young and Ice Cold Wheels. Thanks heaps guys, I really super appreciate it. Ice Cold Wheels has a diecast YouTube channel so make sure you check that out. If you'd like to help support the channel, it doesn't cost very much at all and it's a really big help. You can check out my Patreon link in the description below. And all that's left is to say thanks heaps for watching and if you enjoy this video please like, share and subscribe. <laughs> 